What's up, everybody? Man, I'm freezing my tail off. I really am, man. It is freezing, freezing cold here in sunny, well, nighttime Charleston, South Carolina. The BMW back there is smoking like a smokestack on a freaking <coughs> stinky day. It really stinks. It really stinks bad. But it's beautiful. I mean, but, you know, hey, it's a 550 V8. It needs something done to it. Oh, man, it stinks. But that's okay. I'm going to show you a car that doesn't stink, that doesn't smell up your front yard. And it's this car that I, I got the key to right here. It's the good old Nissan 370Z. And let me tell you, folks, this car right here is an absolute beast. Just saying. We're going to take a look at it tonight. This is a night review. Stay with us. Alright everybody, so we're inside of the 370Z and uh, we're going to go ahead and crank it up. One thing I've noticed I thought was kind of odd is that these smart keys, you're supposed to be able to just get in, press your foot on the brake, hit the start, stop button. But when I do that, it says on here, I know you can't see that, but it says on there, no key. There's a slot over here, you can see that thing blinking, I'm going to take the key, slap it in there. Ugh. Okay, it's in the slot. Now that's working again, and we're gonna go ahead and try to crank her up. Let's see how she goes. Now, again, guys and girls, it is really cold outside tonight. It's like 38 degrees out there. It's freezing, man. I mean, you're getting the best of me tonight, man, because I'm out here doing this in the cold. But it took a second for the engine to crank up, so I'm just gonna give it a little benefit of the doubt there and say that maybe that's from the coldness. She's running. She sounds pretty uh, throaty back there with the exhaust. Let's give it a little rev. There you go. That's that Nissan sound, isn't it? It really is. Anyways, let's go ahead and pull it up front. You know, I'm going to be giving you all a sneak peek of this car tonight on the channel because it just came in. And uh, I want to pull it up front here, park it, and let you all get a good look at it. <laughs> Before we um, before we get it detailed this week and get it all cleaned up, um, our guys in the shop are going to be doing a uh, a little tune up on it and a little inspection, make sure the car is uh, in good running shape, and then after that's done, we shall uh, you know we shall get the vehicle parked up front up here and ready to sell. But anyways, no further ado, stay tuned for the uh, intro to the show, and let's go ahead and get the party started. everybody thanks for uh, being with us on Charleston car videos tonight again if you don't know me my name is Chad I'm a car enthusiast car salesman that loves filming automobiles to help sell them and just for entertaining y'all for that type of thing I know not everybody watching is always gonna buy a car from me but uh, this is all I've been doing since 2008 is filming cars for car dealerships so I hope you enjoy the content that I put out. I think it's starting to get a little bit better in 2019. But anyways, there it is, the 370Z. Let's get the camera off of my mug for a minute and put it on that mug. All right, everybody, so let's get it started right. Again, you're seeing this car tonight first time. This is a before video. I will do a video again after we get it cleaned up and tuned up and all that, and then we will actually take it out on the streets and drive it. So it's a 2009 370Z. It has, how many miles on it? It has 203,000 miles. A lot of miles, folks. I'll tell you the price towards the end of the video. It is that classic white color that I just absolutely love on the 370Z. It's kind of a winning color, if you think about it, as uh, Charlie Sheen would say, winning. Anyways, you do have the 
Uh, I'm not sure if those are HID or LED. Again, in 09, I'm assuming it's probably HIDs, but there's your headlights, those big old projector bulbs. The paint's really nice on the car, just so you know. I will point out any imperfections that I see tonight, but really tonight we're kind of looking at it, checking out the lighting on the 370Z. One thing I absolutely like about it a whole lot is this right here, man. I love how that little blinker there, that side marker light, it's got that Z in there. It looks sweet. And there's a few other cool little spots on the car when you get to looking at it where it's got the Z word again I'll show you as we keep moving forward we do have LED lights going on in the blinkers halogen light bulbs in there for your blinkers in the back or I'm sorry LEDs for your park lights or whatnot one thing I really like right now is that Nissan even back in 09 did not put those uh, good lord that exhaust they, they, they put a nice bright white light up under there which I'm assuming is LED it's not the how the, uh, the the off-white color so that looks really good with that bright white and look how nice that shows up it's gonna look good with your tag on the back just saying just saying it's nice and wide I mean look at the stance on that thing boy look at the hips on the back it looks like a pretty girl just twerking it twerking it twerking it doesn't it oh yeah it does that's that fair lady Z just rolling out on us rear-wheel drive of course okay so anyways I don't have a whole lot of complaints about the exterior body on this car it's in great shape just look at it for yourself it was a car that we bought at the auction this past Friday so yeah it's an auction car of course that's where we get all our vehicles at is at an auction we're a used car dealership what other choice do we have we don't take a whole lot of trade-ins actually I've worked in new car stores before and they get trade-ins all the time but used car stores don't seem to get a whole lot of trades one thing I will tell you on the vehicle you can't see a whole lot of right now but the wheels on the car which I like the five stars it could go for a little bit bigger set of rims or maybe even the same size but with some three and a half inch lips oh yeah I like big lips but the five stars are decent the only thing going on with them is a few of the rims on the car like that one there got some pretty heavy curb marks on them as you can see right there I mean look at that someone really just ate up the curbs with these rims I hate seeing that man we got an infinity g37 coupe sitting over there another beautiful car not this one but way over there and it has the same exact situation going on with the wheels it's like every rim on the car is just curbed up um, the rest of these wheels on the car seem to be okay but that back one back there is definitely got some curb marks on it here's the stickers that it had when it came from the auction 203057 on the exact mile which may be a little more now since we test drove it one time when it just came in and it's a 2009 yeah there you go that's your auction stuff anyways interior is definitely gonna need to be cleaned I mean I don't know what happened in here but it looked like someone took a shit on the seats just saying not trying to talk shit just saying they need to be cleaned something serious and what's unfortunate about someone that owned the car that was a dirty person is this right here I mean look at this this is a suede door panel you do not want to be dirty sitting inside of here with these suede door panels this is what happens okay so if you ever buy a car somebody that's watching right now and this got suede interior and you work at a mechanic shop or you just a dirty fellow out there getting the construction job done I'm not saying you're a dirty person but what I'm saying is you close your hands your elbows your knees whatever to getting dirty from working hard being a man getting the hands rough please try to keep your car a little clean maybe don't even drive it up but on the weekends when you gotta when you when you after you took a damn shower and put some clean clothes on okay just saying but here's the seats and driver's seat actually not too bad other than all the varicose veins going on on the seats right there see what I'm talking about I mean look at them leather seats just veining out boy I'm telling you wow we it looks like planet Mars or something when you're looking at it from a satellite but there's the leather not too bad but over here my goodness gracious somebody really took a dump right there on that seat and stained it up so you know that's the whole situation of course there is no back seats in this car this is a road stir please understand what a roadster is it's a two-door okay you do got heated seats cup holders one thing I like is it's just got one little small cup holder there you know they said back in the day race cars do not have cup holders in them so if you're looking at a new Porsche might not have any cup holders in it <laughs> anyways um, this is all looking pretty good it's a tiny car folks the guy six foot one like myself can fit just fine in here but again it is a tight fitting car okay it's it fits you like a damn baseball glove you do got your uh, CD player here Holy crap amonies, man. Okay, the wipers, the e-brake, all that stuff. I think the heat and the AC works most likely. Let's go ahead and get to the most important part of today's review and pop in that hood and seeing what's going on under there. Uh, wherever we can find that hood release. There we go, right there, okay? 
Oh, man. Woo, it's chilly. We're talking 38 degrees out here tonight, folks. I done hit the wipers on. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what's going on under there. Now, this hood here, I hit the latch. It should not be so hard to pop up like that. I mean, I really just had to manhandle that thing and pull it up. Let's go ahead and hit our buttons. Okay. There's your engine, the V6 VVEL. You know, got that big strut bar going across there. You got your air intake over here. You know, pretty clean under the uh, hood of the uh, 370Z with 200 plus thousand miles on it. So there's that big old motor. That is a massive motor, isn't it? I mean, look at it, boy. Nissan, you literally used every bit of space they could to jam that car around that big ass engine. I mean, that's huge. You got air filter box over here, one intake and another intake over there. No aftermarket parts on her, okay? So this is all pretty much stock. Everything's stock on this car. Not one bit of aftermarket parts at all. And there you go. So anyways, guys, that is the 370Z 2009 that we just literally bought at the auction two days ago. Let me know if you're interested in buying it. If you want to get a head start on it before somebody else picks it up after it gets out here on the front line, please hit me up. If you're wondering what the price is that we're going to sell it for, I'm going to put a price tag up on that windshield of 7500 cash, okay? 7500 cash buys the 370Z or best offer. So please send me a message. There's not a whole lot of guys on YouTube trying to sell cars, but I'll be darned. I am one of them, okay? Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you soon. video's over you know I'm really wanting to drive this car right now really do oh man hey one thing I like guys is that Z right there look at that doesn't that look pretty cool yeah that's cool um, man you got to maneuver to get in this thing just right I mean whoo oh, let's get them blinkers cut off out there let's get our wiper blades cut off I done hit the dang wiper blade thing there I mean at least we know they work but um Oh, if you're still watching with us, thank you. Let's see how this car rides, man. I mean, I can't take it too far, but uh, let's cut the heated seats on and uh, let's just pull out of here and give it one little pull up on the highway, right? I'm really, woo, I'm really wanting to see how it rides. Now, one thing they got going on in here is this. Let me show y'all, hang on. All right, so you got these lights on on the dash right here. Looks like we got a VS VDC off, which pretty much is like vehicle stability assist, or I don't know what Nissan's is, but VDC is telling me as traction control. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off right now. And uh, well, I'm hitting the button over here, but it's not doing anything. Um, there is a service engine soon light on, which is letting me know it's gonna need a need an oil change or something. But uh, let's put this bad boy in drive and see see what she can do. One thing I'm noticing though, I'm gonna have to fix this real quick guys, is the the, the actual uh, the, the floor mat down here on the floor is all up all up in my where the pedals are at which technically could be dangerous you know you don't want your uh, your floor mats messing down there with your feet but real quickly we just run it right down the street I just really want for the most part want y'all to hear the engine so here we go the exhaust sounds pretty good not too bad and we're gonna turn this bad boy around cuz something don't feel right it's doing something. And yes, it is. I didn't hit it that hard either. I just pretty much, pretty much just barely hit hit the gas down on the car. And uh, I don't even, I'm really trying to be careful right now because I do not want to, I do not want to shift gears. I'm gonna roll it right on back in. 
be as gentle as possible with this pretty little car because something just does not feel right. What she's doing. We drove it right when it came off the uh, 18 wheeler truck the other night ago. But something don't feel right with the, uh, the car. And uh, that kind of spooked me a little bit, guys and girls. Just so you know. I mean, when I barely hit down the gas pedal just to drive normal, nothing crazy. The exhaust sounded fine. Y'all heard it. But when it went to shift gears, it did something. And uh, maybe it wasn't the maybe it wasn't the transmission. Maybe it was the exhaust. I don't know because it kind of went wop pop pop, wop pop 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 pop. But it did something. Stay with us, folks. Watch part two when we get it through in the shop. I will let you know everything that's going on with the car. Again, I am no mechanic. Just a guy that loves filming and talking about cars. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Ooh, I tell you, you know, I don't usually get too uh, sketched out, but that kind of, that kind of spooked me a little bit. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm like, is this car about to blow up? <laughs> you know, I can hardly even get out of it right now. I mean, I'm literally squeezing out. And they parked it so tight over here. Ugh, my God. I mean, I'm all up on a Mustang and an Audi A6. I got out, I mean, felt like I was sitting inside of a, some kind of torpedo, maybe the Hunley submarine, but, uh, oh boy. All right, guys, stay with us. It's a cold night in South Carolina. It's January, towards the end of January. It's like the 21st today, something like that. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys, later. All right, everybody, so just got done talking to the technicians. Here's what they said. They said on the, the Nissan, they said that the cam sensor has got to get replaced on the Nissan, and that's why it did that. Um, they also said that um, it's straight pipe, so meaning basically whoever owned the car before took the mufflers off and uh, and put a straight pipe in there, which that's why the exhaust is much louder than um, factory. So you got that needs a cam shaft sensor of some sort, and. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know, you know, but he says it's not the transmission. He said it's a camshaft sensor, and that's why it went, whoop, bop, bop, yeah, bop, 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 bop. yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, I've never been in one that did that before, so it kind of freaked me out a little bit, you know, because, of course, I don't want to hurt a car. It's not my car. It's the dealership's car, and uh, I try to be as, you know, careful as possible with them, but, uh, hey, I learned something new tonight. All right, everybody, thanks for watching again. Have a great day. Day and uh, please come back and see us again on the channel. Thanks.